Hello, this is just a video request that somebody asked me to do on the Korg Monotron Duo. Now he did say this thing had a noisy output stage and he's right it does. But luckily enough when he's plugged into the Mini KP2, the Mini KP2 has got a lot of filters on there that cancels it all out. So that's a godsend. And it actually makes the Monotron sound really good. And of course with the Mini KP2 having a built-in MP3, built-in MP3 and audio player, you can play along to your music and what have you. So what I've done basically just just simply just gone from the line out into the line in, in the Mini KP2, then the Mini KP's line out, straight into an amplifier and two down speakers. Simple as that. So in a second, I'm just gonna go through flick through a few sounds with you and just show you how this thing sounds when it's plugged into there. Because on its own, with the built-in speaker, it does it doesn't really do any do it any justice, you know, it sounds really tinny. So I think to get the best out of these little stints, you best plug them into an amplifier, really. So uh, in a second, I'll just show you some sounds on there. Okay, I apologise for the camera angle, but there's nothing else I can do, as I haven't got a tripod. <coughs> so um, I'll just go through sounds with you. I've got the Mini KP2 set to low pass filter decay. So pressing that, you get nothing. So you press that. Final break. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Spacey effects. Phaser. And you've got the classic torque filter. Digitalk. What else have we got on here? I can go through. It's a flanger. Actually, now it's plugged into the ears, like I said, there's no noise coming through the speakers at all now. This has cancelled it all out because it's got like a built-in filter there, so it makes a massive difference. But on its own, plug straight into the amp, it is very noisy. This is an auto pan filter, and you won't hear it unfortunately because it's on a, a mono mic on the camera. But that now is actually swapping from left to right. And what else have we got? Delays. Yeah. 
tape echo, that's an interesting one. <laughs> um, dub echo, feedback echo. There's some amazing effects. Phaser delay. This is a, a classic hall reverb. Let's change the back to continuous. Some pretty amazing effects with it, you know, if you've got the time and really good. Uh, room reverb, turn that down to the bass. Just going through some audio effects on here. I don't know if you can see that because it's a bit, a bit blurred. There's so many, I think there's over 100 effects on there. And you go into, there's the MP3 player. Into WAV music. Play that. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope that's answered your question. You can pretty much get some amazing effects when they're both plugged into each other. Um, so, till my next video, happy music making. Ta da for now.